My dad just lost his job and we had to move houses, so I didn't have the time to do my homework. Sorry, I just didn't have the time. Now I'm getting stared down by disappointed eyes, sitting in my seat, thinking about how will I ever catch up in this class. And I bang my fingers to see if I can slept on the clock because I just can't wait to be free. As I impatiently wait for class to be over, I block out every word my teacher says and think about the long way to nap I'll be taking the night at home. And the angels sing while 204 beautifully transforms into 205, and the gaze to my sanctuary in the quiet And now I'm finally home. I passed my way to the glorious doors of my room, and now I'm at peace. At peace with my head. And as I inhale the silence, the comfort sound of me, and exhale the loud voices of annoying people and school work stress, I am completely at peace. But there was something that didn't feel right. It seemed like there was an unknown presence in the room, some sort of itch to my throat, something pulling on my leg. As I look around, I notice a big, ugly, raggedy locker of green and blood. Algebra is it. And a thought raised to my mind to remind me that, oh, I do have to work. So while I ponder in my bed while each one of my butt muscles is not going to sit stiff for six hours, I suddenly remember that my doctor has recently diagnosed me with chronic wrist arthritis. So I guess that means I can't do anything. Now, that being said, let's check out all the Twitter drama that my peers have provided for my entertainment tonight and swipe my way down the list. Look who's news just leaked out now. Oh no, she did not just say that in. Oh my gosh, look at the selfie we just posted. He is so hot. <laughs> now it's 12 a.m. and I'm snuggled down under my covers, protecting me from my responsibilities. And again, I remember that I have one, but it was way too late to start it. Gosh, why didn't I ever do it? I'm further disappointing myself while further disappointing my parents. Thinking of that horrible letter grade would be supposed to represent my college. I think I just give up. When I'm sitting here thinking and thinking and thinking of what excuse to use next, and I thought, oh, my house is still burnt down, but my priorities have burned with it. What happened here? I let the stove burn for too long, and now I have nothing. And if I don't start doing anything, I will become nothing. And being nothing won't buy me a new house. It won't even let me keep one. I'm slowly losing my grip, barely standing on an edge, doomed to fall into a hole of regrets, a dark abyss full of loud voices asking me repeatedly, why I didn't do study. And suddenly, every enjoyable memory I have rocks, and all that occupies my mind are the moments I spent doing something stupid, when I could have been getting my work done. The dreams of smiles and congratulations are turned into expectations of scolding and catching me. And that's exactly what will happen when I bring home my next report card. And I show my mom a piece of paper that would determine my future. And I feel guilty for letting myself slack off when I knew I was capable of pushing myself. When I find myself stuck in my own huge head, beating myself up, missing out on opportunities that I could have had. Stuck living with a constant reminder of what a disappointment I am. I'm looking for some scapegoat. Some reassurance, but all I find is nothing. All I can do now is drown my own self pity. All I can do now is sulk and cry and curse myself for not studying for that one test, for not getting that one assignment done, for not performing to my greatest ability that I knew was always there. Hanging on by a thread, I'm slowly losing. Hanging on by a thread that might be able to be slowed back onto the right path. Maybe it's not too late to turn around and walk forward. Maybe I can still climb out of this hole and start this race. Though I'm delaying, there's still something there for me. Something there for you. Something there for everyone. I'm running a race I know I can finish. I finish off strong, but I begin to work hard. If I begin to realize what I'm doing wrong now, I can proceed with my plans and goals for the future. Maybe all I'm trying to say is that it's never too late for anyone. Potential is buried deep down in every one of us. Gold can be shaken in even the darkest of us even in the hopeless mind. We are all able to get what we want through a heart of patience, putting in some hard work, and being determined. It is all programmed in all of us somewhere. We don't have to feel bad for ourselves. We should spend that time moving forward on a road that hopefully leads to happiness, that essential goal in life, a treasure that everyone has access to. It is a blessing to be living. But it's a choice to thrive and make the best of what we have. 
Yes, my house may be very down, but I'll never be too late to rebuild it. Painting each one of my hopes into my hard work, though it would be a long, ongoing process, when my golden house is finished, I will be able to say at the end, I did it. I made it, I am living, and I am happy. And now for me, I think it all begins with starting my coffee work. Thank you.